Hey, this is Gary Kay. We're here at the Almo E4 show in Teaneck, New Jersey, the first stop of the fall tour. Here with Warren Chaikin, uh, president of Almo, yep. and, uh, and Sam Taylor, the uh, senior vice president of Almo Pro AV. Uh, first off, Warren, uh, congratulations. This actually marks the 10th year, and this is where the whole E4 experience started 10 years ago. Yeah, New York was our, our first stop, and I think we have realized we had 150 people at that event. Today we had uh, 630 registered people here and a whole different class of customers as well. So we're really excited about that opportunity to show people all the great technologies we can offer them. So it all started at Infocom 10 years ago, but the first event that really was kind of uh, almost coming out was the E4 10 years ago and it was right here in New York. Uh, Sam, does, he, does it kind of feel weird? Yeah, I, I remember when we were talking about it the, in the marketing department and what we were going to name the event uh, and renaming it from what it was in a previous life and yeah. uh, the whole planning thing to 10 years later to have this many people in an event and uh, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, and, and to cap it all off, Lawrence Taylor's right behind us, literally signing, literally right behind us signing autographs, uh, the famous Lawrence Taylor football player. Did you get your autograph for him? Not yet, no. Yeah, that, I, the want the, I want the resellers to get it. I don't need it. Yeah, he got to stand in line, too, just like everyone else. Absolutely. Um, so uh, Almo sort of built their brand reputation and uh, knowledge base on the consumer market. You obviously teamed up with Sam, um, and uh, your, your relationship has transcended the products and the technology. You guys have actually become friends, haven't you, Warren? Friends. I mean, we. I talk to Sam more than I talk to my wife now. I mean, and I. I don't know if that's a good thing to be talking about out loud. I don't know. It's fine. She she's happy with it. No, but it's you know we have a great relationship, and that I think, not only just Sam and I, but just the whole team, mm -hmm. and you know with our values, which is really family first, it really just exemplifies what we have done as a company and what we've done personally, um, just growing the business together. So, so, Sam, your history in the industry, um, you're, you're, when, by the time you partnered with Lauren, you were already really well known. You already had a track record of doing some uh, uh, very successful things in the industry. How was this different than your previous lives in the industry? Like, what was, if you had to point to one thing as to what made this really work long term, because it's 10 years later and you're now the biggest distributor and favorite distributor in the industry, what, what, what did you do different or what was different about this relationship that made it work? Well, a couple of things. One thing is, first of all, um, Warren and his father and I are culturally aligned, and I didn't have that everywhere I was before. And uh, so, but it really it mimicked uh, and imitated, uh, and was w what I felt. You know that the employees come first, and uh, you treat employees well, and, and they'll they'll treat you well. And that was the first thing. And you said, is there something else you were going to well, say to? When you have a chance to do things over, uh, you take. We we did less vendors. We focused on 40 vendors. Uh, you know, we have the most focused line card uh, vendor partners of, of anybody in our industry. We don't collect lines, so that was that was another thing that differentiated us. And we also really wanted to focus on educating the resellers. So we said we really want to be known as the education distributor. And then, and then finally, about five years ago, we said, look, we don't want to be known as a distributor. We want to be known as a solution provider, putting solutions together for our integrators so they can give those out to their, to their customers. And that's when we launched our services. And we have been building those and, and continue to, Almo continues to invest in it, and uh, it's, it's going well. And uh, so those are the things that ha are different than they were at my previous life. And, and having been involved in your previous event and this event, I, I'd say that one of the big differences you touched on is the education. You can actually come to this event today and you could have earned, as an individual, around eight CTS credits if you'd have planned it right. And we were, we were offering as many as 12 CTS credits. Um, myself, I'm doing one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half uh, CTS credits just delivering in classes that I'm doing. So there's a great opportunity for the educational side. But the exhibit side, people do still come for the exhibits. There's a couple of things that, uh, that I think are differentiators in what you have and what other shows have. Um, I think they're exemplified in two areas. The sound options room uh, area, or some of the brands that you have you can't get anywhere else like Eckler and sort of the way you put them together. And also the Zoom, the way you're packaging your Zoom capabilities and your Zoom solutions is different than everyone else's. Talk about those two sort of um, differentiations. Well, first of all, with the Zoom rooms, uh, you know, we partnered with Zoom to offer the rooms, and and we're working with uh, manufacturers like Hudley and Yamaha and, and uh, MXL 
with their products, but we're 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 kidding it. It's in a box. So when the when the, and it's in stock. So when when our integrators uh, get a job, they can have it next day. And and that's big in this world because um, a lot of times when their clients say go, they want it done right away. And uh, and we've got the expertise in house to to support the Zoom rooms too. And then Eckler, I think, is interesting. And, uh, you know, we were talking before we were doing this interview. I heard you overheard you talking to someone about how you had a customer who came in who had been using Eckler, never heard of them before, found out about the brand through you and was astounded at what they were hearing because they didn't even know the brand existed. Yeah, so Eckler's been in business for over 50 years. They're based in Spain, but they're, they're, they have worldwide operations. And, and the United States was the only place really where they weren't servicing. Um, they make really high-end audio products, and they're designed by the same people that designed like Lamborghinis in, in Italy. So they're, they're, the, the, fun, the form of their product is really good, and the function is great. So they, they selected us as our, our, their exclusive distributor for uh, the U.S., and the people, uh, we have a, a try it, buy it program, and we have got nothing back. And it's uh, the I, I've had a cu couple customers come up to me today and say, "Wow, the sound quality uh, from that product is unbelievable." So, so Warren, if you had to do it different, what would you do differently, or uh, or what would you change? I wish I could have done it ten years earlier. That's all, and then we'd be twenty, we'd be celebrating twenty years. But no, I mean, we as a company. I mean, obviously you stumble upon certain things, but I think, you know, the important thing is we have great leadership and we have great people running this business, and we always are thinking customer first, and by doing that, we are successful. So, honestly, I mean, I don't think there's been anything as successful as at Almo as what we did with Pro EV. So I'm just excited about the next 10 years. Yeah, and it's AlmoProEV.com. Of course, Almo Corporation is Almo.com, and uh, and they, they are uh, one of the biggest, most successful consumer electronics distributors. And I think marrying the two together is kind of weirdly, similarly, interestingly, collaboratively a uh, couple here. It's, yeah. it's, it's kind of weird because it, it, is, it is amazing how similar you are, but also how the synergy of the two of you work together. And I've had a chance to work with you offline on other projects that have nothing to do with our industry, uh, more about our families and things that, uh, that our kids are involved in. And it's been awesome. I've been proud to be part of this. I'm excited uh, to be here. We're, we've gone around and shot videos on everything here. We've we've covered the entire show, and all of it's at uh, ravehubs.com slash e4. Sam, congratulations. Thank you, um, and, uh, and thanks for, for allowing us to be on this ride for every event over the last four years. I appreciate it. And Warren, it's been great to finally, it was great to finally meet you 10 years ago, and it's awesome to have a friendship that we've developed. And uh, go Tar Heels, right? Absolutely. Go and Tar Heels. He's a fan now. His son's applying. Yep. He's a fan. And, of course, Sam's always been a fan because he's secretly, he's secretly a, a basketball fan. And you can't be a college basketball fan without being a Tar Heel fan at some level, right? <laughs> That's right, Gary. I'll, I'll, I'll humor you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, make sure that you uh, check out all the videos we shot at, at raypubs.com slash e4.